What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a new clip of the week. The first clip of the week where I wasn't just keeled over in the hospital in pain, or on the floor in pain, or talking to a doctor, or where it was just not depressing. I felt good enough to get up and do a little bit of walking today. I needed to get a haircut, so I went and got a haircut. Um, I mean, I'm still in pain, obviously, but uh, I got down here fine. I feel like I'm just, it, my heart's beating a million times a second, it feels like. A million times a minute. Got a storm moving in. Here, look, I'll show you. Looks like my brother's old car. My hernia is pretty uh, painful right now. I don't know why I'm showing you guys the clouds. I ain't got nothing else to show. I don't know, it's just right there. Right there fascinates me. Oh man, there's cops coming from every direction. <clears throat> Friend again from last week. He was a lot closer. He looks pretty much exactly like the other one that I saw last week. I mean, it's in the exact same spot or area. So it could be him. It started downpouring a few minutes ago. Yeah, I'm taking a bunch of rant, uh, st stupid clips because, you know, most of my vlog is full of, you know, who no wanted something else. Something else for the week. I didn't know that was on or else I wouldn't, uh, I had the flash on. I didn't know. People throw all their trash down here. Isn't that a nice little, nice little uh, scenery right there? It'd be nice to have like a little house right here off to the right. Well, I got a phone call coming in, so I guess I'll have to end it. Just posted this post uh, two minutes ago. It's already got seven upvotes. It's a link to another post that I have, or of a clip of a comment I really liked on another post, uh, which is linked here. And I want to see how many uh, how many people end up liking it. Right now, I'm sitting at exactly five thousand karma. Uh, I think this will be quite quite interesting. Let's refresh it. See if there's any more yet. Oh, there's one more in less than a minute. Anyways, uh, now it says I uploaded it one minute ago, eight likes. Uh, I'll make another clip like tomorrow or something. The pain's getting so bad last night after I got home. <clears throat> this morning I woke up like <sighs> the pain gets the the pain stuff they're giving me doesn't feel like it's working. <clears throat> But I don't know how long that takes to work. Uh, 
I don't know what's wrong or why it hurts so bad. I've had pain, but not like I've had in the past three days, four days. And I deal with pain like all the time. I get brushed off a lot <clears throat> because I complain of foot and back pain and stomach pains. And now I've been <clears throat> I've been dealing with stomach pains for a few months and thought nothing of it other than uh, my hernia. And turns out it wasn't my hernia causing a portion of the pain. <clears throat> Anyways, this week's vlog is kind of really suck, so I'm sorry. Damage. If we, if we notice something damaged, we fix it right away. There's the risk that something goes missed, though, and that you need a repeat operation. That's okay. Um, benefits or treatment alternatives are IV antibiotics sitting on the floor for a few days and hoping that it resolves. Um, and sitting on the floor? On the, uh, in the hospital, getting admitted and just sitting in a hospital for three, about three days. We call it the floor, basically, because it's not an ICU. Um, there's the risk that the appendix perforates or, or is already perforated. In that event, you'll end up staying in the hospital for a few days for antibiotics. Um, just to decrease your risk for uh, worsening infection. infection. Correct. Okay. Um, so for the consent, what you would be consenting to is anesthesia. The fact that we can't guarantee our results, but we'll do our best to do everything safely and get you um, home as soon and as safely as possible. Uh, we'll be removing tissue in your case, and it goes to pathology, and they do a final read of it just to make sure there's nothing weird going on. Uh, and then our attending surgeon and is present and scrub for the entirety of the procedure. Um, and lastly, because it's a teaching hospital, sometimes they do pictures, photographs. It's rare, okay. uh, but it's all for educational purposes. So, sorry. Will well, I I'd probably be here for a couple of days? It just depends on what it looks like. It sounds like yours, from the imaging that they saw, is pretty angry. So if it's already perforated, then yes. If there's no perforation, we can take it out without the perforation occurring, then you may be able to go home today or tomorrow. Okay. Okay? So we'll, uh, I'll get you to sign the consent. We'll take care of the, we'll get you posted. There's a case in front of you. How long before I can have something to drink? Uh, after the surgery. So that all kind of depends on when you get to go. When was the last time you had anything to eat or drink? Um, like, Yesterday at like seven. Okay. So I'll have you sign this. I'm really thirsty. I know, sir. They're giving you, should be giving you some IV fluids uh, to help with that. Here, um, initial here, sorry. They'll give you IV fluids to help keep you hydrated while you're not able to eat or drink. Right, th right where you are. All righty. Any questions that I can answer for you? No. Okay. Well, we will get the ball rolling from our end. And hopefully we can get it taken care of quickly. Uh, do the IV that you have in your arm. We'll drift you off to sleep. You won't feel or remember anything during the procedure. And while you're sleeping, they're going to place a tube in your mouth to help you breathe. After the procedure's over, that tube comes out. Does that kind of make sense to you? Will it come out before I wake up? Typically, yes, but not always. Okay. All right. There are some risks associated with general anesthesia. I think you're fairly low risk for any of the scary complications. That'd be things like heart attack. Not waking stroke. back up. I'm sorry, say that again. Like not waking back up. I don't expect that to be a problem. Well, I, I certainly I hope not. Yeah. But. Then again, if I was going to go, I'd rather go asleep, so. Well, my understanding is that you're otherwise fairly healthy, is that correct? No yeah. heart problems, no lung problems that you're aware of? Uh-uh. Okay. And this just kind of hit you all of a sudden this morning, or was it over the weekend that it started being a problem? This particular thing only happened, it started happening this morning, as far as I understand. 
but I'm wondering if it had, I've had problems for a few months now, and I wonder if it's connected, and I just didn't know it. Okay. Well, we'll get I you going in the right direction. Possible. Just going to take some time. Okay. All right. Are you aware of any problems in your uh, family's past with anesthesia? Ever heard of anything called malignant hyperthermia? Uh-uh. Okay. We just, it's important for us to ask that because if there's a family history, it would change our anesthesia. I don't know my family history very well because I only just met them okay. a few years ago, about four or five years ago. Okay. If you haven't heard of it, it's exceptionally rare. I don't expect it to be a problem. I just have to ask. It's kind of part of our normal uh, spiel when we talk Where's about Where's the appendix at? Usually it's in the bottom right quadrant, so kind of down here. Why does it hurt so much right here then? So you have what's called referred pain. Uh, when your appendix gets inflamed, it can irritate the lining of your abdomen called your peritoneum, and it kind of shoots in other directions. So that's called referred pain. That's why it hurts over there as well. But it hurts the most right here. It doesn't even hurt so much, as much. Yeah, down there. Uh, it's not uncommon. Will the pain go away? By the end of today, then? After the procedure, I would expect the pain that you're having to go away. The stitches will hurt, though, huh? There's some discomfort with that. I don't think it will be the same kind of pain you're having with this, though. And it will get better with time. I keep asking for a Band-Aid or a Neosporin for my face, but I can't get a hold of any. Well, before I leave here, we can press the button for your nurse and see if she can come take a look at it, all right? Okay. All right. Do you have any other questions about general anesthesia, sir? No. Okay. I'm the kind of guy who would rather not know risks, because then I don't have anything to be paranoid about. Well, I understand. But I get it. No, you're fairly low risk. I don't expect anything to be a problem. It's just part of my duty to let you know if there is some risk involved. I know. Um, with that said, there is also some risk to your lips, your teeth, your gum, and your eyes, just because we're working in that area. Again, I don't expect any of that to be a problem. We're extra careful, but I do have to let you know there is some risk. How? How is there risk? Because when we place the tube in your mouth, we're working in that area. And although we don't intend to, sometimes if a, you know, if a tooth gets in the way or if somebody actually accidentally pinches a lip, things like that, it's very uncommon. I don't expect it to be a problem. It's just my duty to let you know about it. Okay. All right. What I have here is our anesthesia consent form. Kind of goes over everything that you and I just talked about. You're welcome to read. I'm just curious. How come, how come they bring in like 15 different, exaggerated, 15 different doctors to do different forms when they can just have one come in with all the different forms and explain it all? Well, the different forms are from different departments probably. Um, and not everyone knows everything. So I'm with the anesthesia department, so I don't know a whole lot about the surgery that they're going to be doing. But your surgeon could tell you that much better than I could. Oh. Kind of a team effort here. Lots of members of the team. Is your last name Doe? No. I'm a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Oh. Mr. Gray. Okay. All right, sir. So Sorry, I'm being weird. It's not a problem. I know you're having a bad day. That's okay. I've got our anesthesia consent form here. If I could have you place a signature there for me. All right. Do you have any other questions about anesthesia, sir? No. How long is it going to be before they do it? So I think they had you scheduled for 1.30. It's forever, and I'm so hungry, or I'm so thirsty. Well, we can't have you eat or drink anything prior to the procedure. That's for your own safety. Is that the right time, 10.44? Yes, sir. That's correct. So you got how much? Three hours? Uh, give or take. <laughs> so thirsty. I understand. Well, we'll get you something to drink after the procedure, but we can't have you drinking or eating anything beforehand. All right? Okay. I'm going to take a listen to you here. You take a big deep breath for me. One more time, sir. Big deep breath in and out. All right. Go ahead and breathe normally. I'm just going to listen to your heart.
prior to this abdominal pain, sir, were you able to get around okay? Like walk up a flight of stairs without getting real short of breath or having any chest pain? I was a fat guy, so I mean, shortness of breath comes with it. Well, I understand, but no chest pain associated with that? Not really, no. Able to walk around like the grocery okay without getting real short of breath or having chest pain? Not really. When I think about it, I have had a, I have had shortness of breath for a while now, uh, but it's not consistent enough that it's something that was sitting on the surface of my head. Okay. Okay. But I do get. I do break out in cold sweats rather often, and uh, that's all I can think of. Okay. All right, sir. Well, that's it for my questions. Any other questions about anesthesia that I could answer for you? No. All right. I'm going to hand you this right here. You said you wanted to talk to your nurse about uh, getting a bandage. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. You want me to press this button for you? So they're going to call you yeah. back on that, and you can just talk to them through there, okay? Do I have to press it? Yep, you can press it right there, big red button. That'll ring your nurse. I appreciate your time, sir, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Hello? Hi, how can I help you? Do I have to press anything for you to hear me, or can you hear me? No, I can hear you. I've been trying to get a bandage for my face because it hurts a little bit and some neosporin, but I haven't been able to get one. Okay, I will let your nurse know. Thank you. You're welcome. first clip of a new week you guys I'm in the hospital I got real sick last night and apparently my appendix has to be taken out and I guess it's part of why I've been having a lot of pain recently in my stomach area. It hurts so much. Um, I think I have my surgery at 1.30 or 1.40. I'm not sure which. It won't let me eat or drink anything, it's, I'm so tired, um, I'll share more later, they had oxygen stuff on me earlier, on my face, and they were giving me all sorts of painkillers through my IV. Some of them really made me feel warm, but none of them really took the pain away. They even gave me morphine and it didn't take the pain away for very long. I gotta try to fall asleep, but it hurts. I'll talk to you guys later. They got me all hooked up to a bunch of things. Got stuff everywhere on me. <clears throat>